right now, aren't you? <laughs> Bet you didn't know Jason was a chick. <laughs> oh, do I have to be a man? No, I don't want you to be a man at all. <laughs> I'm very happy you're a chick. Foolishness. What'd you think of the movie? What? What'd you think of the movie? And be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no more plastic knife for you. What'd you think? Were you scared? You were scared. Well... You were like this the whole movie. <laughs> If I had watched more of it, I might have liked it. <laughs> but I sat there with my eyes closed for the majority of it. Because I prefer movies like, I don't know, where's my steam off? Magnolia's? Can I like it's in the closet that? where I've hidden it. Um, <laughs> that's a Valentine's Day present for you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to do my review now. I'm actually <laughs> You can sit there if you like. It'll be kind of weird. Up, can I come up in the back room with the Jason mask? <laughs> You've already... I'm already talking to you. I'm going to edit this in. Oh, can I just sit here again? You can sit there like that all you like. <laughs> You're not mean to me. Little Mrs. Magnifico. No, I miss Borgies. Oh. Get with the lingo. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll make a YouTube camp tomorrow. Little Miss Borgies. Okay, okay. Do you want You can't kiss me in front of the guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. What's up? Ryo here. Just got back from Friday the 13th, the remake, um, directed by Marcus Nispel, who's an asshat. I uh, did, uh, which one did he do? He did one of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remakes, I can't remember which one. Um, Brad Fuller, of course, was involved in production, as he will be on Nightmare, I'm sure, and whatever else is coming out these days, because he's making a buttload of money doing it. Um, and yeah, it starred Jared Padalecki, Amanda Rigetti. And a bunch of other people I didn't give a shit about. And Derek Mears played Jason. Stabby stab. Um, so, anyway, I guess I'll talk about some stuff that I noted here. I don't want to spoil it for anybody, so I'm not going to say a whole lot, but I'll give you sort of some stuff that I, I don't know, I noticed during the movie. Um, first off, the people in the movie, like the kids. I didn't much care for the main group of kids in it, of course, but it's the same thing with all these fucking movies. Because they're like... I don't know, there's just, there's nothing really redeeming about them, like, mo like most of them are even, like, they're kind of assholes and douchebags, and they even had, like, beer pong in this movie, I was like, oh my god, but, um, th there were some funny parts, though, um, the Asian guy and the black guy were pretty funny sometimes, uh, and, yeah, well, I guess they were alright, but, I don't know, it wasn't, I didn't really care for them that much, um, the first group of kids that you see, though, uh, I liked them a lot. There was one guy that's like a total like AVGN ripoff. Um, he's just this, like geeky guy wearing a Star Wars t-shirt. He's awesome. And that whole group, like, if it had been them the whole movie, I would have liked it a lot more. Um, but it was like kind of like two groups of kids and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. I'm like the teenagers in the movie or whatever. Uh, anyway, the kills. Uh, the kills weren't like the whole movie, of course, because it's movie made like in this era was quick shots, uh, a lot of different angles really fast, and I guess it's like a frantic, frenetic style that they go for, and they think it's like this awesome thing, but it makes it hard to see a lot of stuff, and a lot of the kills, like, there was a lot of practical effects, and there's some really, there's some really cool ones in there, <coughs> but for the most part, I didn't really, you couldn't see that many of them, and there's not that many memorable ones. The things about the old movies is, like, sometimes when you watch them, you would think back to those kids, like you would say, oh man, here comes the decapitation, here comes the clippers in the head, and you know, here comes where he gets belted to the tree and stuff like that, but in, none of them in this, there's a couple that might stand out like that, and there's a couple that are kind of gruesome, they're kind of brutal, but um, yeah, th I mean, at least it was a lot of practical effects, and um, some of them were pretty cool, he uses his machete a lot, but I don't know, it was kind of neat, I liked it, but I don't know, they weren't anything spectacular, I guess. Um, Jason, um, I liked how he looked. I think they showed a bit too much of him. He's in it a lot. Um, but, uh, I liked how he looked. I really liked how he looked. I liked how he looked with the mask. Um, so yeah, I really did like the look of Jason. I like how he moved and everything like that. I really liked Derek Mears as Jason. I don't know where I'd place him in the hierarchy, but I don't know. I've only seen the movie once, so I'm gonna try and not, uh, make any, uh, assumptions like that yet until maybe I see it a couple more times but anyway I like that um 
music uh, was brutal. Uh, the only cool uh, theme in it was sort of like the opening theme, which I put at the start of this video. That I thought was kind of cool. It kind of nods back to the old movies, even though it doesn't really, but I don't know. It kind of nods back to old horror movies, and it's actually, you know, real music and not just like crappy like techno beats and sound effects and shit like that. It was actual music, so I kind of like that. Um, um, what else can I talk about? A lot of nods to the previous movies. Like when they said it's an amalgamation of parts one through four, it really is. Um, there's all kinds of different little things that. Uh, uh, I don't want to say anything to ruin anything, but there is all kinds of nods to the old movies. Um, the ending especially, people will recognize that. Um, yeah, I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but there's, there's little nods all over the place. Um, that are pretty cool. But, like, one thing I definitely had a problem with was some of, I don't want to talk about too much of it and ruin it. Um, let's just say Jason is a little different in this movie. Like I said, I like the look and how he moves and stuff like that, but he really is this, like, hunter-trapper guy, and, like, one of the one of the opening kills, you really get to see that. Um, he does this weird maneuver with traps and stuff like that, and he's got this, like, his lair is a little more convoluted than it used to be, which is kind of weird, but I don't know. You know, I don't know. I'm not going to say anymore because I don't want to ruin it if anybody hasn't seen it, but... Um, I guess as far as what I thought of it, um, in the end, I think I really liked it. Um, I enjoyed watching it. Uh, it really was all like boobs and blood and all that stuff that's out of the old movies. Um, and yeah, I mean, they didn't really waste time on a lot of backstory. Um, you can tell there's definitely stuff cut out of it though, storyline wise. Um, they've been talking about the DVD, the DVD coming out and having a lot of uncut stuff. I don't think it's going to have any uncut kills. Um, at least I can't imagine that there's a lot of kills in the movie, um, but it might have some other backstory and things like that. Like, there's this one scene where the main guy, Jared Padalecki, plays Clay. Um, he's looking for his sister, um, who disappeared, which is sort of like the Rob Sandra thing that we were talking about. I was talking about in other videos um, from part four and part two. Um, but, uh, anyway, and he goes to this, like, house, and there's this woman there, and she clearly knows about Jason. Like, she's like... You know, don't go over there, Jason's over there, he's over there, and he likes to be left alone, and I don't know, like, it's just weird, I don't know, there's some backstory there that they definitely didn't flesh out all the way, so there's probably going to be some stuff about that, but, anyway, yeah, I, I liked it, I can't help it, right now I'm saying I liked it, I'm fairly certain, I'll stick with that, um, I know there's probably going to be a lot of people who are going to bitch about this movie, going to say it sucks, um, but uh, I, I thought it was excellent, and the crowd was really cool, like, there was, everyone laughed when it was funny, and... Uh, there was applause when the Friday the Thirteenth came up, and the intro, like when they introed it, they actually did it off like white text on black, just like in the uh, old movies. So that was kind of cool. It wasn't like the same kind of text, but that was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think I liked it a lot. So I'm hoping that I keep that opinion. But as of right now, I liked it. I think you should go see it. You definitely have to see it. Um, you have to make your own decision on that one. But uh, I'm interested to see some other people's. Um, opinions on it. Um, got to talk to my cousin and a buddy of mine soon, see what they thought. Um, and I'm interested to see what uh, B. West Jr. at Endurance Productions thinks and what Dead Pit thinks. And there's all kinds of places. So, um, yeah, uh, in the end, I thought it was really great. I really enjoyed it. I had some gripes, but there's always going to be some gripes with the movies these days. They're not the old movies that we grew up loving and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. So I guess that's all I'm going to say on it. Uh, I'm going to head out. Um, happy Friday the 13th, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this series of reviews. And I'll be back with something different, I guess, sometime this weekend. So anyway, um, yeah, peace.